Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we've got our co-host h and Trader in the building. What's up pal? Nothing much man. Glorious, glorious weekend. Yeah, apparently you've got money for cereal now. So yeah, you're getting done eating some cereal. <laughs> so from now on to lighten the workload a little bit and just because it makes more sense... Instead of doing a Friday last rip and then a separate swing trade list, we're going to combine them into one episode. It will still be under the swing trade week and watch, but we will recap our day trades from Friday uh, during this as well. So we've not I've, we've not been putting them, the last rips out on Fridays anyway. So just look for it to be one episode where we cover it all for the weekend. Good overview of the prior week and if you like the way we're doing this and these last drip episodes and these weekend swing trade lists hit that like button and let us know because if we're not getting likes on videos we're going to take it that people do not like them and we're going to start cutting that content out we only want to be putting out content that you guys want that is valuable so make sure you're letting us know if you like the content or not now let's not waste any time and dive right in the spy continued to rebound there on friday not much of a rebound but somewhat so i don't know how we're going to open up on monday um, i really I have no idea at this point we're holding above that 50 day but we are still in a downtrend so this could be that little rebound bull trap that i was talking about earlier this week or it could be a full-on rebound what are you thinking well uh, I know on that five-minute chart right there, it just looks like a double top at the 45, 44-ish level. We've seen this before where it bounced back up, but the thing is people are people are really getting nervous because mm -hmm. now it's starting to flatten out and curl. I really feel that there's some more bull traps to be had on this one because there's just it just looks too good for shorts. It's like, oh, it's a little retracement bounce, but... As we know, it's done this before and then popped right back up to the 450, 460, 470. So either yeah. way, um, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah a trap. like you were saying yesterday it was, or Thursday, it's a trap. So we'll see what happens, whether it's a bull trap or bear trap. I'm leaning towards bull trap, and we're going to continue to come down some. I don't think this is enough correction, especially with all the uncertainty right now. But what did you trade on Friday? Friday, I um, got my little back, I got my little back broke um, <laughs> trading trading A E H R. Not only did I my first entry there on that one was high, oh. and so I was like, all right, I'm gonna average down some. So I averaged down, and it where'd just you get in at? I got in the first time when it first started exploding out. It was moving like dollars at a time. I was like, okay, let's get it. Yeah, right so, in the open. I got in at the like this 15 15 no 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 16 dollars 16 dollars up there for the break in the continuation higher on the first rip out right up at that 1627 yeah right up there and that thing faded it faded off of there all the way down to the v web and it scared me on that little dip and i was like uh-uh i can't take this so i went ahead and got out there now i had 70 shares i averaged down to 70 shares here I was like, dang, man, this thing just faked me out so hard. And it came back up, and I bought uh, this little breakout. But the thing is, it was so choppy. It came up green, and I was like, all right, let's get it. So I got in on that green bar right there. Um, not that one. Go back uh, back right there, that green bar. And I was looking for a continuation bounce off of VWAP. It slammed down. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this thing is going to kill me today. But it held up VWAP, and I was and I was only in small position size by this time. And this is where my Wi-Fi went out. Oh, yo, God. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so everybody in the chat was like, oh, uh, you need to exit that on your phone. You need to put an order in there or something on your phone. And so while the Wi-Fi, it took, it was at least a good five minutes the Wi-Fi was going out and in and out and in. And then one one time the chart had showed up and showed this pop up. I was like, "Holy goodness!" This one and, here? And, no, no, no. The pop, the big pop oh, right that, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, "All right, well, I may be okay." And so I just continued to hold it. Came back down. Didn't crack VWAP again. And I just holding it. This was probably the longest hold ever. Went back up, but it never did get me any kind of real breakout over the top. No, not until so after hours. <laughs> Yeah, after I was just 
you know, things happening after hours. But yeah. <laughs> uh, I went ahead and got on out of there. I held it for so long looking for that break of that top. I mean, it was struggling every way, all the way up. I mean, once I had this first initial rip, it struggled right there at 15 and struggled with 16. It was struggling every dollar after the first rip yep. there. But then, yeah, See, get a nice pop in the after hours. So it is a very bullish chart, but I would, ex- mm, I would expect a pullback Monday on this. But if the market opens up green, we could see it continue to push up. But just be aware. We could see the same thing where it's getting smashed down at every 50 cents to a dollar. Yeah. So that was the only trade you took because the, the Wi Fi. Well, I took one on UFAB uh, as well. Oh, no, you didn't do that, did you, man? I did the same thing. Yeah. I made that mistake. So it started uh, holding up uh, above VWAP, kind of getting yeah. some wide bars, but the bars got smaller. Of course, I took off very quickly. I kept my stop tight on this one. Oops. Had that initial, those wide bars that I was looking for a little bit of consolidation. I'm playing around VWAP and it started to consolidate. And I believe I took very small share size on this. So maybe like 25 shares. I didn't take much, but I kept a tight stop on VWAP. So um, I actually got out on that red candle that you, I believe that red candle that you're on right now, once it broke down VWAP again, I was like, all right, this thing is too weak. And I don't think I lost hardly anything because I kind of bought towards VWAP anyway. Where'd you Uh, get in on this candle? Yeah, yeah, I got in on, well, actually, I got in on the break of the red, that small red candle that was holding up VWAP, go over to the right. Oh, you got in on that one and got out on that candle, too? Break of that one, yeah. yeah, looking for some continuation, and then I just said, if it breaks VWAP, I'm out, and that's what happened. Yeah, I, was... so I lost, like, maybe 15 cents on 25 shares, which was nothing. Yeah, I was waiting this consolidation out. I mean, this was a volatile candle. Where did it open? Yeah, it opened at 394 and it started pushing up. So I was like, okay, it's going to try to test for this last time and this could be the break. And I hopped in there at 390 and <laughs> it just didn't. And it got slammed down. And as soon as it started cracking down, uh, I had yeah. a stop loss under all these wicks and got stopped out at the bottom there for a $10 loss. Not a big deal. Yeah. The only thing that I was looking for is it to hold that double top breakout that it did. That dub from pre market, mm-hmm. that's the line that I was looking for. Uh, come down a little bit. Oh, this one right here. There. Yeah. yeah. See, that's that 375 right. area, too. Yeah, that's why I bought in for a continuation off of that, but it just couldn't do it. No, I gave up, and I think it sold off. Yeah, it sold off the rest of the day. Now, the problem I had with this, the reason why I was waiting so long and so hesitant, because at that 370 area, it was testing the 200 at 380 area. And I just don't like these ones under the 200 because they tend to have fake outs more than they do breakouts. So I stay away from them. But I broke that rule and took a loss. We've seen a, a a pattern of though these cheaper stocks like around under five dollars when they do that they barely ever break out but the ones that are like twelve dollars and they get mm-hmm. close to that two hundred boy 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 they they <laughs> they try to touch the moon <laughs> yeah yeah it's a different psychological area too of prices like these everybody consider garbage but when you're up in that. 12 15 dollar area like you're talking about you've got a little more bit that you you probably have a little more institution and hedge fund traders in there than just retail traders yeah so they do get some big moves and then the other trade i took was on mrin now this bad boy and i had been swinging this on weeble i actually made more money on weeble with the swing i made about 100 bucks there after this consolidation it started breaking out there and started to break 950 so i jumped in 40 there about halfway up that green candle we consolidated for a little bit again I had held those 50 up to this candle, and then I sold that 50 for a profit. So that was mm, about 50 shares at 960, and selling at 1030 for a 70 cent profit. So that was like a 35 dollar win. And then I saw I was doing this consolidation again, so I jumped in again, 20 shares, and I rode it up to see if it's going to keep ripping uh, at the 1142, but it stopped started to coming back down and I took it at 1075 adding a little bit more profit to it. So all together off the swing in the two day trades is about 140 bucks MRI and I was able to get this week. Nice. And I think it's still going to run next week. I, this is on my watch list for sure. All it has to do is just break and hold that $11 area. And if it breaks that, we got room to start moving back up to these higher areas. Yeah. So that was the only trades I took. 
Uh, still holding JCS. It did uh, have a nice pop Thursday. Pulled back, but still holding, you know, close to ten dollars. I'm expecting that to continue to hold up and continue to climb up eighty five dollars on it right now. No stop loss. Nah, man, no stop loss. Man. Got a three dollar fifty dividend coming up here soon. <laughs> keep forgetting this is that one. Okay, I keep forgetting. I'm like, bruh, why? <laughs> but yeah, you you about to get paid anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a it's a win win situation because the entry I got now at this point eight sixty six. I mean, I'm in I'm in down here it, close to the bottom of the beginning of this rip. So I don't think it, I don't think it's done. I think we're still gonna keep seeing buying up to the point. I may <laughs> what I'm expecting to happen is a buy the rumor sell the hype type of idea. I think this is gonna get pushed up to the maybe the day before the dividend and then we might see some type of dump or I, I certainly think there's going to be a dump on the day of the dividend once that dividend hits people's accounts <laughs> I, I imagine this is going to drop but until then yeah. i think we'll continue to see some upward momentum on it let's see what was the top 10 percent gainer zevo which really didn't do anything aher we already covered ufab flgc this one's coming back alive a little bit Ah, I don't know. Maybe. It got rejected at the 50-day. It just looks like a little bounce after having all that sell-off to me. People taking profit, man. They tired of, they tired of holding that short position. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think this is a reason to watch it yet. But if it keeps popping on the scanners, it could be. Because this was a nice runner before. So to the swing trade list, let's see what we're going to keep and what we're not. SAC, this is one of those dividend stocks. Actually getting a nice little push up on Friday. So we kind of got a little triangle here. I, I think that's worth keeping on watch. That may pop Monday. What do you think? Mm, uh, it's got a nice little flat flat support area right there. Yeah, right there at that five twenty one five dollar mm -hmm. area. Yeah, a lot of support there. DATS, which we had on the list for a while there. I mean, this thing just has went nuts since it broke out of that triangle. So I'm definitely going to keep it on watch. I, I'm going to look for a pullback to 10 I think that $10 area or maybe even a pullback to like 865 the tops of these candles. We see it possibly come down and have another curl up on the trend line. What are you thinking about it now since I had that breakout? Uh, well, it's too late for me. <laughs> <laughs> are you still you still holding some of it? Uh, yes, I am. I've got 10 shares on Weeble still. I think if I didn't if I didn't sell them Friday, I did a lot of liquidating Friday, so I don't remember. But I think I held them because it was up still. It closed in after hours above ten. But I mean, ten shares, and I'm up. Like, I think I was up like thirty bucks on it. So if it can push up to fifteen, that's what I was kind of looking for. But if it drops, if it starts dropping any more, I'll just go ahead and lock it out and get back in it when it dips. What about your good friend BTS BTCS? Well, you know, cryptos got banned in China over the weekend. Yeah, yesterday actually on Friday, so that did not help BTCS's case. But it is getting closer to that 532. Now we did get you know a little bit of an indecision candle there on Friday. So if Monday we see start pushing back up, I may start looking for an entry because it still is bullish. It's above all EMAs. Yeah, I would I would have liked to see it was closer than a, to a Doji than that. That's that's not a really indecision. The sellers won that one. Yeah, on that short one. They put, they kept it out of the body of the previous red. So the body of the previous red, what's that bottom? We're talking about six seventy yeah. there, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it may it may dump a little bit more. It really is going to depend on what cryptos do. If cryptos continue to dump, which they're not dumping today so far after the China news of the ban, you know the effects of a ban are not going to be felt all at once. So I don't know. I I don't know. I don't. It's going to depend on the crypto market and the crypto market's a question mark to me right now yeah so i'm gonna keep it on watch still aatc not looking too bad I had a little dip but did i not did i not say that thing with that little dip it has a more more potential up than down yeah i guarantee you it's gonna pop back up yeah and it did climb back up about a 50 cent move so far so if you did catch it on that dip but nice i job. mean it, 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 it may be a wick though you see how these little red candles um over the top of that that high did the last time back here to the left right here. on those highs you see how it threw a wick out there but came down mm -hmm. it may be one of those types of situations yeah 
maybe towards Thursday or something, it might throw a wick up there. Or if it comes out with uh, some type of news, if it has a catalyst any day, it could pop. SGMA, this one still looks good to me. Curling up still. Pushed up Friday some more. What are you thinking on this? I kind of like it right here above $10. If it holds above $10 Monday, that might be a decent swing. I do like that the, the red bars are decreasing in size. If you look at big drop and then look at the size difference coming on mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. A little bit of pressure there. Yeah, a little bit of buying coming into this, curling it up. So we'll see. I, I do like that one. And then ISIG got that pop Friday. Another pop. <laughs> Where did it pop up to? 826 up to 9. So there's about a 70 cent pop there in one day again. God, these daily candles. Hard, hard, hard to judge. Yeah. I mean, it looks like if you buy it on the red candles off of the trend line, you might can get random pops up. But these these are nice pops. you got to be watching closely because once they go up, they usually come right back down. How you feeling about this thing? You think we're going to get a big pop soon? We kind of get it's we're kind of getting squeezed right there. Actually, look at that little squeeze going on. Yeah, it's it's going to probably take some catalysts on this one because they the the news last time was uh what eighty two cent a eighty two percent sales increase. Did they leave it on the list. You got any other ones you're looking at? You're saying uh, F A F R S H. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. F R S H. I was watching this one as a tech stock. Uh, it IPO'd and it's been forming this bottom. You can look at the five or the fifteen, either one, and you can see that bottom that it's kind of holding. Oh yeah, see right. That around, checked down a couple of times. Yeah, it's right around down. like forty five, forty six. It's held there multiple yeah. times. That's what I've been watching. So I see that it did cl- um, close at forty seven. So a higher low there. Maybe it can start forming some even higher lows, and I'm definitely willing to play ball with it. Uh, on a yearly chart, it had the indecision doji, but I don't think it's done going up, though. Yeah, I mean, it didn't pull back much after that doji. So this is still, this is still to me, is indecision. So actually, yeah, if it breaks over the top of this body at 47.50. If it breaks 47.50 Monday or this week, I think we can see it push up. Yeah, so a little bit higher price one, but a little higher float. This one's a, it's not your normal cup of tea, man. You got a little frisky on us. No man, I'm just trying to buy the dip. I like the <laughs> I like the company itself. The uh, security features that they offer, I like them. So nice. Hey, willing to play ball with her. That's what I'm asking you know, around a little bit. Yeah, and that's that's what I like to tell new traders and investors. You know, trade and invest things that you, especially investing, invest in things that you know, invest in things that you like. And you, you're big in cybersecurity and all that. You know that stuff. I like shiny little rocks that come out of the ground, so I know that stuff. But that's it for the weekend watch and the day trading recap of Friday. Appreciate everybody joining us as always. We will be back Monday for some more live stream trading. Monday I will be doing power hour. I will not be able to morning live stream, so I will be I'll be trading in power hour. So you guys go see Hal at H and H Trader. Link in the description below. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. Stay safe out there. Until next time. Peace.